sorry, what you're defending is the proposition that veganism isn't a morally superior position to non-veganism. Correct. Okay. Who wants to argue against that? All you have to do to start is ask him for an argument. And I should add the word necessarily in there as well, um, because it could be in a lot of cases a morally superior position. So just that it's it's. Uh, So I'll just I'll just put a position out there just to get started in case because people seem a bit apprehensive. Okay, um, I don't. So I'll just say this: uh, <laughs> I don't value life in a vacuum, and that that's it. I don't think we value life in a vacuum either. Oh, okay. So you agree with me that veganism is not a necessarily morally superior position. No, I don't think that follows from not valuing life in a vacuum. I mean, look, vegans don't value plant life in a vacuum. I would, I would uh, look at a look tree at... in a vacuum and say that I value that. Live, live. Uh, yeah, I really fucked up. Sorry. <laughs> I meant to say conscious life uh, sentient, sentience. Do you value um, well-being in a vacuum, or is is uh, there are some vegans, by the way, who may not value sentience in and of itself in a vacuum as well, as long as there can be no, there is sentience associated with no preference at all or no um, intention or no well-being. So those vegans would say they don't value sentience in a vacuum, but sentience is like a necessary precondition for something else that they would value in a vacuum. Do any of those things are things that you value in a vacuum? Yeah, so I think well-being is an ongoing process. I don't think that it, it so it happens like moment to moment rather than um, well-being. Well-being is like a future um, like thing to think about rather than yeah, so fuck sorry, I'm not making much sense here, but <laughs> Basically, every moment in the future is a potential moment. So therefore, I don't value potential moments, and I don't. So I don't value potential life. Um. So wait, wait. Uh, not yeah. Potential life. Don't say potential life. Potential. You could say potential well-being. We yeah, have already well got life off the table. We already took life off the table. Okay. Yeah. So it's you say you don't value potential well-being in the future. Right. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Go for it. Say someone is sleeping and is experiencing no well-being, but he will wake up in the future. He will wake up and he will experience well-being. If we don't value that future well-being, is it okay to kill this person while he's sleeping? Yeah, okay, absolutely. For the sake of an argument, he's in a dreamless... Oh, he is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you, yeah. Can, you can kill people. And I know uh, Ask Yourself is saying that it's like biting the bullet, but um, I don't agree that I'm like biting any bullet per se. I'm just following. I just want to logic. make sure you actually are biting the bullet. Hold on, hold on. I just, I just want to make sure that we really are on the same page here. Um, so we're not in a vacuum, wait, by the wait, way. Ask yourself. Sorry, it's distracting. Wait, wait, wait. Hold, hold on. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. Um, so do you, you have like siblings? You, you, you're, you like an only child? You're just. I'm not. You don't have to dox yourself or anything. But yeah, I have a, I have a sister. Yeah. All right, so just, just to be clear, so just in a vacuum, so you your sister, you see your sister in a vacuum, um, your sister's sleeping. Um, on your view, it's totally fine to just stab your sister in the throat, just it'll make a quick death out of her, um, as long as you do it while she's sleeping. Well, I would rather say shoot her with a ray gun. And yes, okay, shoot her, okay, shoot her with a ray gun. So sh shoot your sister with a ray gun while she's sleeping. Correct. And that, and that is... That is okay on your. That is normatively yeah, okay. There's okay. nothing so wrong with I that. Know, I know that sounds a bit weird, but the reason I say that is because I mean it doesn't I sound weird. weird. Like I just want to be clear. It, it doesn't sound. Well, weird. I just want to be fucking I, insane. I, yeah, I just want to be clear why why I believe this. I, I believe this because we have a bias from evolution 
to value existence and to value continuing to exist, even in situations where we can we can actually figure out that it's absolutely not worth um, sorry that it's that life is absolutely not worth living. Like for instance, you can torture an animal, but it'll still try to survive. Even humans, you can put them in a tortured state, and they'll still try to survive, even though that even though you can tell them that they'll never get out, kind of thing. And this goes for a lot of humans. So basically, my point is that we can't adjust for that bias from evolution to continue to exist. So we can't determine whether or not life is actually worth living or not. So that just that, gets you to agnosticism. It doesn't mean that it would right, be so I'm neutral. On you. It. Wait, 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 that doesn't mean you're neutral. It means you don't know. It just yeah, means I you do don't know whether you're neutral or not. It means you don't know whether. Look, if you want to say that for all we know, then every time we sleep, it's analogous to this, well, we're being in this state of torture and really our life is not worth living while we're sleeping. But we just don't know that and we can't adjust for that bias, maybe. Yeah, so I wouldn't say you wouldn't say no, you wouldn't say you're neutral. You would say you're agnostic if you're neutral. Neutral is saying you're neutral says, says like, okay, based on everything we have, based on all the reasons we have, we are at the point of neutrality. We have just oh, as many, no, many no, countervailing no, reasons. I'm not saying that it's actually neutral expected value. I'm saying that I can't say whether or not it's good or okay, bad. So you, you don't know, neutral, right? Right? You don't know. Right. Yeah. So you don't know if it's okay to kill the animals then. Right. So it could be good for them and it could be bad for them. Yeah, so, yeah. so it's not the position. Okay. So just to be clear, you don't have the position that it is okay to kill the animals. Uh, so, okay. Well, I don't have the position that, that, it, is, that it is acceptable. Wait, 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 wait. Just to be clear, it is, you do not have the position that you are affirming that it is acceptable to kill the animals. Yeah, I'm not affirming that it's acceptable, but what I'm not, I'm also not affirming that it's acceptable to allow them to continue to exist. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, are just you're agnostic. Right. You're just agnostic. Yeah, right, yeah right. exactly, exactly. Okay, and you will also be agnostic about killing people in their sleep. Well, no, they're not in a vacuum. You have to, you have to no, say no, 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 you in, in a vacuum. Okay, fine, in a vacuum. Yeah, you're, you're, you're agnostic about killing people in a vacuum in their sleep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so also, by the way, how do you... So this is a separate branch because we kind of went over the first part. But uh, how do you? So are you are you uh, pro-choice? Oh, absolutely not. You're not pro-choice. Uh, not at all. Not, not at all. Okay. No, no. I'm 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 most I'm mostly pro-life. Which, oh, I see. Because uh, yeah. I was going to hold no, you. I think, no, I think. Yeah, I think. I think. That what's I the think, difference um, between? Well, for I, the I audience. Think, okay, sorry. Go ahead. No, if you're you're asking me a question, I I think that. No, I, I, when I first saw you, actually, I was more interested in debating you on abortion than, than veganism. Because veganism would be easy. I, all I have to do is reduce you to killing people in their, their sleep in a vacuum and the debate's over. But a lot no, of no, 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 yeah, the debate is not over in that you won. It's over in that you discovered the debate's, the debate's over. The debate's over in, that, in the sense that I've taken your position and put it in, out of line with, with the overall majority of what people would find oh, for to sure. be... Yeah, yeah, and people are just going to look at you reprehensibly. Sure, and that's all. That's right, but they would be wrong to do, do so. Yeah, I have a No, no, no. I'm not, that's not the claim. That's not the claim. The claim is not that I wrong with respect to the nature of reality or something. Right. I'm not going to be baited into arguing for moral realism or anything like that or moral objectivism. Well, um, there, well hold on, hold on. You can you can figure out objective morals if you have a definition for for the goal of morality. No, way, like way, talking about what loss demon. Wait, that's wait a minute. Objective, but just to be clear, by objective you mean mind external? I'm not sure what that means. Well, if you're saying you can figure out objective moral, not me. When I mean, the boss's demon could, if you define a, a goal for morality. That's you could, that's just a hypothetical. That's just a hypothetical norm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways. So back to the. I can, I, all right. Fine. Getting back. Anyway. So yeah. So to answer your question, I'm. I'm. No. I would consider myself mostly pro life. Oh, I see. It's interesting. Um, so, wow. so, then, yeah, for, interesting. so uh, it's interesting because in my view, you would kind of have to value potential existence as a consequence of that, wouldn't you? So, so just to be value, clear, just, just to be clear, I value, so my, my valuation is for potential, not existence again, that's that you're not being, you got to be more careful than that. I'm sorry. Yeah. You don't have to value potential existence yet. Potential well-being or potential sentience. Okay. The rock sorry. exists. It's did, did the vegan debate end? Is this on abortion now? 
Well, the abortion. Oh, I, I mean, we can continue talking about the vegan debate if you'd I'm like me to continue. Yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry, say again. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, as yeah, far I mean, as I'm as far as I'm concerned, um, I mean, I've done every, I've done. I mean, I could continue with more reductios, but I've done everything I need to do with, with the vegan debate. I mean, I've so this is involved in the now. vegan debate. Let Avi talk. Sorry, so Avi, with respect to the vegan debate, the reductio he bit the bullet on was it's fine to just murder everyone in their sleep, murder his sister, his family, yeah. everyone in the room, etc. Okay. Yeah, and that's good enough for that's good enough for me. Yeah, of course. All right, let's go to abortion. I'll just put out an announcement for that. What I would relate this conversation to veganism, the abortion conversation, because unless someone reconciles the difference between um, allowing for abortions versus allowing for life to be ended, I I, I equivocate yep, yep. those things. Yes. So, so uh, my evaluation is as follows. I value the potential for sentience for all beings that have at one point reached sentience already. So okay. this so this valuation does not entail me to value things like sperm rights, but it does entail me to value people who are in comas or people who are sleeping. Because they are beings that have the potential for sentience that have at one point already reached sentience. You're just saying it's more likely that they'll be that they'll have no, sentience no, again? No, nope, nope. Okay. What I'm saying the what I'm saying is that at valuation, I value the potential for sentience for all beings that have at one point already reached sentience. So why do you introduce the quote have already had sentience before? Oh, you can ask that for anything. You can ask that for any valuation. At some point, it all bottoms out, and we have to bootstrap it from something. So it's and just the reason I'm bootstrapping it from this. Oh, wait, 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 and what do you mean by, we'll get to, uh, let me, let me just finish and we'll get to that arbitrary. Um, so, at, at any, val any valuation system is going to have to bottom out at something. And the reason I'm valuing this is because this doesn't get me into, the this gets, this captures what I care about and it doesn't land me into hilarious reductios like something like your view would. Yeah. Now, no, no, if you no, want to no, charge no. it with, if you want to charge it with arbitrary, I would ask for a distinction between what I'm doing and what anyone else is doing when they bottom out and something they value in, in a sense that my value is arbitrary in a way that theirs isn't. Okay, so <clears throat> I don't understand the differentiation between the infinite amount of potential sentience versus the potential future sentience of something that's already sentient. That that's what I don't. Oh mean. sure. Uh, okay, I can explain that. Sure. So they de they generate different answers. Okay. So the first, so the person, so the person who values, uh, the potential for sentience, and they only value that, they will their valuation system will place value on not all of the same things on on more things than someone who affirms I value the potential for future sentience only for beings that have at one point reach sentience already yeah that is the qualitative difference in terms of like sure. what so, value so at the end of you life. understand the difference then right oh i understand the difference in practice but i don't understand man, man it's like i just feel like i don't know I, I just i don't know i just don't understand how you draw that line what do you mean how what do you mean how i draw the line like you're just Asking yourself, what do I value? Mm -hmm. And then you're saying, mm -hmm. okay, well, because I value this, then I, then, I, then I value these people and not the other things. Okay, well, that's... Yeah, you're, trying to, find, you're trying to find something that you value that extends, that actually captures what, you, that extends and it captures what you care about and doesn't land you into hilarious reductios. I think that's pretty reasonable. Right, so... I mean, what are you doing when you, when you ask what... How, are you doing anything different than right. what I'm doing when I ask what you value? Yeah, so for me, I'm escaping the reductio in actually by saying that I don't value potential life and therefore wait, I don't wait, value wait, wait, that's not that. answering my question. So my yeah, question so is my do you understand what the question was? Um maybe rephrase it or, or just ask it. Yeah, I mean look, you you told you told me. Like I don't understand why you're draw, you're drawing some line in terms of what you care about. You don't you don't you're you're not getting it. And you told me what that I would just that I'm just valuing something, and I'm just trying to understand like when you value something, when you value anything, what is it that you're doing that's different than what I'm doing? That's the question. Oh, I see. 
Well, I have a definition. Well, okay, so obviously I can't know what's morally correct, right, myself personally. So I wouldn't make any, like, absolute claim about that. But, um, yeah, so I just try to adjust for bias and have, like, a goal for morality, like, just uh, bettering the state of, like, all conscious creatures, I guess. And why do you, and why do you have that value? Oh, that is, ar- that is arbitrary. Yeah. Okay, so are you doing anything different than what I'm doing? Um, yeah, so... What are you doing differently? Is, okay, so mine is about what to define morality as. And you have a, probably have a similar definition to morality that I do, but within that, your cal- you, the way you're calculating things, I would say, is uh, I don't know what fallacy it's using, but I think there's a problem there with the logic that you use to calculate what the best moral decision would be. Wait, because I'm not. You, 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 you conceded that your evaluation at bot when it bottoms out is arbitrary. Okay. Well, my so now I'm asking you with respect to with respect to the ground. Great. Now with respect with respect to the grounding of morality, how is what I'm doing any different than what you're doing? I know we have different. We value different things. I'm asking you to specify a difference, a relevant difference between what I'm doing with respect to the value with the with respect to the foundation or with respect to the basis of my values compared to your values and, and in what way you're doing something different than I am. Right. Like I you say I'm I doing, I'm, I'm invoking some fallacy or something. What's, what's the fallacy? No, no, I don't have, I, I don't know exactly. It's something to do with like drawing a line in the sand or something. Drawing, drawing a line in the sand. Is I don't know fallacy. what the name of the fallacy is. Dude. It's, it's whatever. Um, Can you conceptualize the fallacy to me? Can you like explain blame. the fallacy conceptually if you don't know the name of it? Yeah, so I think if you properly extrapolate your value for, um, you know, conscious consciousness or, or sorry, well-being, then that reduces to valuing potential well-being and that, or sorry, pot- potential life, which then reduces to all these reductios that we all agree on. Whereas mine, but that's not my weight. But that's not my value. That's not my valuation. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying that I think. So if you why would you say it's mine? Wait, wait, I'm not saying it's yours. I'm saying that if you were... So what am I doing? My, so what's my fallacy then? I'm saying that you're not doing that, which would, which okay, is great. what okay, you great. should be doing if you were to wait, be... Wait, why should I be log- doing... Wait, because, why should I be doing that if I'm perfectly logical? So if you don't draw a line in the sand in an arbitrary point where you mm-hmm. find it to be Okay, but we'd already, then then we, already, already agree, we already agreed that arbitrarity is not the symmetry breaker here because you're arbitrary. Well, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. I don't agree that my evaluation of what should be done to have the most moral universe is arbitrary. I think that might be and I don't and great and I don't believe that what ought to be done in order to value the potential for welding for beings who have already reached sentience or have already for the potential for sentience for beings who have already reached sentience. I don't think that's arbitrary either when you do that. You're not comparing like with Yeah, I can define it too and just say and just say pragmatically this is what objectively leads to what my definition is. Just like you can do it in there as well. Yeah, you could do that. You could do that. You could do that, absolutely. But I would say that So how is it it Okay. I would say that the definitions then, your definition would encapsulate a a way more specific universe than mine. Sure. What's the fallacy for that? What's the fallacy? Oh that no, but then after you say that, then I wouldn't say that there's a fallacy. If you include okay, in your definition yeah. that this line that you drew about when it's okay to end like potential experience, then yeah, that's fine. No, if I if I if I just I just make an additional specif- specific uh, condition in my definition of valuation. That's all. Yeah, then I have nothing to say about that. Obviously, great, great. So, <laughs> so you agree now that there's no fallacy in what I'm doing. Yeah, no, but you didn't have that in your definition before. I thought you would have. No, like a, no, I absolutely. I, I think I was no. I think I was pretty clear in what I, I specified that I value. I said, uh, again, I'm just going to repeat myself. I said, I value the potential for sentience for all beings that have already reached the point of sentience. Oh, wait a I, second. I've said that many, many times. Okay, hold on. You're talking, but you're talking about your moral values, your personal moral values, not your definition of morality at that point. Well, you could say that that's part of your definition. Okay. That yes, I I I don't know what else I take that to mean. No, but I take my definition, definition yeah. to be something I, which I, which would predict your moral value, your your moral. 
that does predict that that does predict what I can. No, no, no. That I mean, it is definitely it's the definition. Is, it's my it's how I'm defining what it, it what it. Yeah, I mean, look, I don't know what else. I, I'm I'm just confused. I'm not trying. Like, I think I know what he's doing, I, Avi. I think what he's doing is you're giving like a normative kind of thing. You're 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 saying like what you care about. He wants like a meta ethical definition of what the good is. Oh, if but that's like, not is the good with respect oh, okay, fine, to some fine. Is the good... val value property out there in the world that's objective? Is it just with respect to your preferences? Is that what you're asking, abortion holocaust guy? So I'm asking, what can you tell Laplace's demon, and then he can calculate all your moral values? It sucks when the person is like, so, okay, whatever. <clears throat> yeah, like the, all the vocabulary you use, honestly, I can't. I, I don't have proper definitions for all of it, so. Okay, so you want Avi's normative theory. That's what you're asking for. You're not asking for the meta-ethical definition of good. You're looking for his normative theory. I think so, yeah. Yeah, so I'm so con now, I'm, now I'm still confused. Like I gave, I've, the I've answer, spelled out my normative he's theory. Asking, he's asking you to say threshold deontology. Oh, okay, sure. Threshold deont. I mean, sure, threshold deontology. With but with the added, added caveat that what I define for deontic norms with what it applies to and and what I care about has the stipulation that I care about the potential for sentience <laughs> for all beings that have at one point reached sentience. Yeah. Do you I want mean, to that's, that that's, a, that's a normative. That's part of a normative theory. I'm not. This is, has nothing to do with a meta ethical question. Okay. If you're not asking me, you're not asking me what what it what is what is the logical nature of the good or anything like that. You're not asking me if it's objective, subjective. Okay. You're not asking me if it's real anti. You're just asking me what my normative theory is, and I'm I've been giving it to you from the get go. Can I just okay? Let me just give you an example of like what my definition of morality would be. It'd be just like one sentence, which is, um, what is, okay, what state could the universe be in to maximize the well-being of all conscious? That's it. And then there's no talk about specifics, like, is it okay to kill someone in this situation or that situation or whatever? Like, that's not part of my that definition. Just sounds like, that just sounds like a normative theory. I mean, well, I mean, look, look, so you, just to be clear, so you're, 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 definition of what makes things right or wrong is whether they maximize well-being or yeah, whether for the entire universe and i don't have whether for the entire universe. universe sure sure for the entire universe right yeah yeah so that's a normative theory yeah exactly but i think yours yeah. is more so i've whatever. given you my normative theory so i've given you my normative theory what's the problem all right that's fine yeah i don't have a problem with that's so whatever no big deal you know, I just wouldn't use a definition like okay, that personally. Okay, then you agree. Then you agree. Then you agree that there's okay. So then you retract the claim that there's a fallacy being made when I'm yes, doing that. Yes. Right? After you. After, okay. 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 Thank you. Explain for yeah. That's fine. Okay. Chain, so man. please, chain, please mute yourself. They're echoing through your mic. Who okay. Is? So the the issue. So the issue here is the reason why I think this is a much better valuation. Um than yours is because well it's just going to go back to the same thing so if you don't care first of all if you don't care about the potential for well-being in all cases then we're leading then we end up saying that in a vacuum it's okay to kill people in comas who are going to wake up it's okay to kill people who are sleeping if they're having a dreamless sleep it's okay to uh, kill someone who has an absence seizure during the absence yeah even someone so who's awake we, even someone who's oh, awake, yeah. I think, oh, okay. yeah, 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 I say that the next moment of their experience is a potential experience. Oh, okay, so what about, so you don't even care about the current moment of experience? No. Wait, Wait no, because you, there's you, no current, it's, it's all the next, like, it's, it's, uh, well, actually, so it's no, okay it's to kill okay. everyone? Even when they're awake? Yeah, so in my view, I'll just say this, because this will encapsulate my view more clearly. I think that if you took a, if you destroyed the entire universe at once and no one suffered or anything, then I can't evaluate whether or not that would be good or bad. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I, I just want clarity. So when you say in, you, it's okay to kill someone awake in the current moment, I'm, I'm confused because it seems like you'd care about, I thought I was under the impression that you care about current experiences that you cared about current well-being or current suffering right. that you it's only didn't tough. care about the future it's tough to conceptualize what current actually means because current is so micro it, it's so um like the time there, there's no time frame in current 
it's it's uh it's the smallest i don't know even how to think about current actually wait let me just let me just ask you so is, is it okay to in a vacuum to kill someone who currently is who is ex- actively experiencing well-being yeah i i think so because then you're only stopping future well-being because they already experienced and and, that and 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 you're stopping whatever whatever current means you'd be stopping that too. Well, they already experienced the current. Well, there's the next there's the next current whatever 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 experience simultaneously occurs at the point of death that's being that is the point that's that's being ended as well. Yeah, but so you ended. You, yeah, you are you're ending, ending, the, you're ending the process. You are ending, yeah. Whatever is whatever whatever is occurring at the, at simultaneous at the t- point of simultaneity, when whatever yeah, experience like happens. Is, is, sorry, th- this this moment that we're talking about, first of all, is extremely small. Actually, it's not even a moment, right? But it's so hard to conceptualize. All like, right, what then the why would you, then then hold on? You could you could say the same thing about suffering then too. Well, could. Uh, how do you mean? Well, just like you can say that the current moment, if you want to, if you want to just reduce its value by saying, well, we're just going to, we're just going to take like the area under the curve. We can say, well, on you have an X axis and a Y axis, you have like the amount of well-being and you say, okay, well, if I only care about the current, if I just reduce it to that simultaneous moment with the area under the curve approaches zero, because it's just so small of a time frame, if you just multiply the amount of time multiplied by the whatever well-being there is and we take that area under the curve whether that's an integral or whether that's like an easy multiplication it doesn't matter it, it will approach zero i'll grant you that so um, it might come from the other side of things though like it, no no, no it, it, it will unless you want to argue that you know for that there's like this plonk i mean you can say plonk time and then it'll just approach something really really minuscule but if you want to say that that isn't doesn't matter to you because of how insignificant it is, and then it would be okay to kill someone who, who's awake even though they're experiencing well-being, I don't know how that doesn't lead you to also be okay with just actively torturing people, because whatever amount of torture they experience is already in the past, and then you don't I don't know why you would value torture in the future because that's just hasn't existed yet, and I don't know why you would value torture in the present because that's just insignificantly small, and if you do the same integral. Right, so that's interesting. I have to think about that more, but I just want to. So I can't answer that yet because I have to think about it more. But I no, but yeah, I want you. To, I want you to. I want you to think about that because okay, this so. is this is the reductio on your view. The reductio on your view is that it actually is okay to just actively torture everyone. Hmm. Okay. One second. Well. The um so yeah so basically what you're saying is I haven't hashed out the moment to moment idea yet and I think it's extremely difficult conceptually to understand. Okay, and it's not. It's really not. I I look. You explained it to me, and I got it within a few minutes, Pro- maybe even less. It's not that hard to understand. Like I understood what you were meaning, and I was able to visualize it in my head very quickly. So okay. You're saying that, okay, man, I'm, I'm honestly having trouble here. Could you explain it one more time? Yeah, sure. So you said that you don't, you're not placing any value on the experience of the future because it hasn't occurred yet, right? Because it hasn't occurred? It hasn't occurred. It hasn't occurred. It hasn't occurred. It hasn't occurred. Or, no, whatever reason. Yeah, you don't, you don't place experience of the, of the future. You're not value, value. having a valuation on experience in the future. The yes reason no? why is because of the reductio ad absurdums that come from that. Yes. Or just, okay. I don't. You're well, I don't care about the reason. So look. Do you? Do you? Is there any case where you do place in a vacuum experience of of the future? I can't think of one right now. Okay. So is it? Is it? For all you know, then it's no. Okay. So if it's no. If it's no, and then also you also say, well, the well. You also said, well whatever well-being that was being experienced already happened in the past. And so therefore, so that, you wouldn't I don't really, know if I said that exactly. I think I was unsure about the now ideas. But okay, but so the question, look, the question on the table is, you, look, you said it, it's okay to kill someone while they're awake even. And then I got confused because I, I thought it was only about 
if they weren't actively experiencing well-being. And then you said no, because whatever well-being they experienced is already in the past, and the future well-being doesn't matter, because that's in the future. And then the current well-being, it's just this finite little moment, and it just becomes insignificant because that instantaneous moment where you kill someone that they're currently experiencing, it's just that, that tiny microscopic plonk length time. That seemed to be how you were framing it. And I understood what, I take that to mean, if I could steel man you, if I could conceptualize it, is that if you were to multiply the amount of time experiencing a given amount of well-being by the well-being itself, and you were to take that area under the curve, if you were to say, what is that, that would just approach zero, or it would approach whatever Planck time is multiplied by the well-being experience, which would be very insignificant. Can we hold just one, one sec? I think there's a problem here. When someone dies, the only types of experiences they could have they could have had were potential experiences. So I think that, yeah, so that's what I think. So so there's no right. such thing as a current right. experience after someone's death. Okay, great. But, but is there such a thing of, okay, okay, cool. So is it okay to torture someone for throughout their life and kill them? No. Why not? Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, so you're saying, yeah, I think I understand the problem. Um, you're saying that, so, so let's say I decide to torture someone. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as the current torture. So whatever torture right, that was right. done to them was already, and so I would have exactly. to, you know, exactly. yeah, I understand. And I agree that this is a problem with my view. So like, I would okay, have to okay, cool. definitely change something or go back to the drawing board on something. I think I would have to value some sort of potential risk of mm -hmm. life. And potential benefits of life, maybe. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I'm. I'm. First of all, I'm. I'm. I applaud your, um, quote unquote, intellectual honesty. Um, I. I think you do have a crazy view, but I. I at least applaud you for recognizing and taking the time to recognize what the problem. Is. Um, Thanks. Um, and yeah. So I. I do encourage you to go back to the drawing board, and if you think you have a better view, then hit me up. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, no, this is really enlightening. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll think about it more. Thank you.